We have traveled the stars. We have traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation, what the universe is watching. Welcome, welcome everyone to another edition of Stones Galactic Wrestling Federation. It is Tuesday, March the 31st, 2020. We have got 12 matches on the card. One of them featuring a three-on-three -three tag match between the world champion and the and her challenger at Wrestlemania so it's a bit of a preview hello Akari how are you doing hello LB so we have got tickets are ready to go tickets are open for boss battle at the end of the night or close to the end of the night we usually do that for our second match. Second last match. All right. Um, we are going to start this now. Right now. Candy Mandy versus Jinx. Betting is open. We're good. Uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. From Cleveland, Ohio. The Rockstar. From Cleveland, Ohio. Candy Mandy taking on Jinx. Oh, cool. That's really what I wanted to see. So let me. Uh, how do I get rid of that again? Because I changed that. Whoop. Well, balls. Zorts the Goblin, thank you very much for the raid. Red Alert. That was a shout out for good old Zorts. Did you finish your thing? What is it? Uh, it's like under... No, enable a steam overlay while in game. Nope. That's what it is. There we go. That should be good. Sorts the Goblin. Oh my god, those Survivor Series matches. I know. Well, it's not just the Survivor Series matches. It just seems like a lot of the matches lately, the tag team matches have been going a long time. Hey there, Lance. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Uh, you were here a little bit ago. Here we go. Candy Mandy versus Jinx. Uh, Candy Mandy is 1-0 in singles action. I think her only singles match was against Marge Simpson, so that's basically a gimme. And Jinx is 0-2 so far. We got Candy Mandy with a headlock, really working it in there. Hey, look at the uh, why did we're in universe mode? What happened to the ring? Our arena <laughs> has disappeared. The hell! That is very strange. 
Very good old 2K19. I'm just going to say, you know, as much as 2K20 is a hot pile of garbage, there are still some flaws with 2K19. Anyways, exactly, Chris. Exactly. Akari. God. Lord Dundrin, Jesus. Gotta stop doing that. Candy Mandy hanging Jinx up in a tree of woe. I'm gonna actually turn up the end game so you guys can hear a little bit. Oops. Nope. A little bit. That should be a little bit better. I know, but. You know. What's your screen name, man? What number was Candy? Chat refreshed on you. Uh, Candy for betting is option one. Option one. Candy Mandy waiting for Jinx to get to her feet. And right behind, and I don't know what the hell, but that looked like a good old neck breaker to me. Two and three. Candy Mandy is her winner. I think even before betting was closed. That is not surprising, though. Here is what your did winner, you do, Delby? There we go. So when I was setting up the matches, I noticed that my logo wasn't there in some of them. And I'm like, huh? I was messing around with the arena to create a empty arena. Because that's just how I do. Um, now, one thing we are going to do, and I'm going to see if this actually... Actually, no, screw it. We're going to go next match. Never mind. Okay, we have the Vicious Circle. We'll be going up against the Assassins. Is that Adam's Cole, Adam Cole's music? Maybe. Maybe. It's possible. Quite, quite likely. I am not... Okay, so I kind of got back into wrestling. Um, I'm going to say about a month or two before the last Survivor Series. And I, and I kind of... And before then, I was watching it off and on. But now I'm, like, hard back in. And uh, so I'm not as familiar with a lot of the people and music and all that stuff. So the Vicious Circle is the number one ranked team. A victory here will guarantee, basically, I can't say uh, guarantee 100%, but it will like 99% assure them of a tag team title shot at WrestleMania next week on Monday, next Monday. Adam Cole and the Bruiser Way at Survivor Series stole the show. Uh, I don't All remember. The way to the ring, Casey Turner and Sue <laughs> the Their rightful match. Their rightful rematch. Well, it will be a rematch if they um, if they can win here. The uh, Covert Ops is not wrestling. They are the number two team, but they are not a player-owned team, so I kind of, eh. However, Hit Squad and Birds of Prey are both wrestling against each other. If the Hit Squad wins, they're at 40 points. Vicious Circle's at 46. If the Vicious Circle lose here and Hit Squad wins, I think Hit Squad will be the number one team. If Birds of Prey win and Vicious Circle lose, Birds of Prey could make it to number one. If Vicious Circle wins and Hit Squad wins, um, I think it's pretty much guaranteed that all, almost Vicious Circle will still be number one. Here we go. Our representatives from... Cobra, the the uh, uh, 
Baroness and Zorana. Looking to hopefully make a splash here. I don't think they do. I, I don't know if they've actually won a match as a team. The Assassins. Yes, actually. Uh, wow. They have a winning record. My, my bad. They are three wins and two losses. The Vicious Circle is at eight wins and four losses. They haven't been. The Vicious Circle has have not been doing well lately. Wow. But Casey Turner comes right out strong. Right out of the bat, strong. And another it takes Baroness down again. Waiting to see what happens here. And wow, knee right to the side of the head. Check her for a concussion because ding dong, holy crud. Working on that knee in preparation for maybe a figure four leg lock or something. Or maybe a uh, in, in, in death lock. Why are you always going to talk down my wrestler stone? What did I ever do to you? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not I'm not talking them down and just telling it like it is. Telling it like it is, McMahon. Casey Turner getting I think she was looking at her reflection in 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 Death Pro's mask and uh she had to come over and see what all the commotion was and uh she got attacked from behind. However, that doesn't seem to matter much now as she's really taking it to Zorana. Who is the sister of Zartan, but that doesn't matter because he ain't here. We don't know where he is, though. We're not sure. Not sure. Working on the leg, looking for a quick tap out by Zorana. Wow, that's it! Holy crud! Oh my god! The vicious circer really want that rematch real bad. Congratulations, Zords. Vicious Circle. Uh, by submission. Uh, we're gonna say Zorana sub sub to uh, Casey Turner. Man, Susie Mackinac didn't even get in the ring. Did not even get in the ring. Zorts. I don't know what it is between your games and my games, but my matches go way faster. Way faster. Although I think it's because momentum is fast, but even then, your matches are going like, like take they take like an hour for a match. Like, good God! All right, we'll see. We'll see if they can get. Like I'm pretty sure that win is gonna keep them up as the number one seed. Okay, we've got Lita. And Sylvanas. Open up the betting now. Uh, and we're going to do a shout out for Lita. So Lita is owned by Lita. L I T A is owned by L E E T A. My podcast partner slash co host on Adventures in Azeroth. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say owned. Kind of implies like slavery. I thought, I thought that we're kind of beyond that, right? Making her way to the ring from Stanford, North Carolina, Lita. All right, let's look at their records. Lita is two and zero in singles matches. Sylvanas is a former world champion. However, she is one in three in singles matches. She won the belt and lost it within a day. I think, I think she held it for one day. Uh, who did she lose it to? Who did she lose it to? Oh, I've got it right here, actually. Sylvanas won it, uh, lost it to Lou. And her opponent. Lou lost it to Zorana. The Queen, Silva, Anna, 
Sylvanas. All hail. Hopefully Lita rips Sylvanas' head off. Wow. Why why would you want that? It's Sylvanas. Come on. Come on. For the Banshee Queen. That's right, Akari. For the Banshee Queen. Here we go. Lita is ranked uh, seventh. Sylvanas is way down there. Wow, nice tilt a whirl, Hurricane Rana. I'm uh, not liking that uh, my ring is not there. Sylvanas picks up Lita. It's very distracting to me. Something feels off. Oh, and I see the black the black marks again. God, I love it. Lita drags Sylvanas' corpse to the middle of the ring, gets her into a scissors hold, elbow right to the middle of the forehead. Now, oh my goodness, Lita to the top, ropes, turning around. Holy crap! Mood salt from the top rope. Two, three, three. Wow. We're 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 going through matches quick. Oh my god. Okay. This this could be a short show, folks. This this could be one of our shortest shows ever. Lita is your winner. I apparently. Holy crud! I mean, we gotta get it in within the hour, right? You know, we gotta fit everything in before before the next uh, show comes on. All right. Uh, oh, I guess they got some extra stuff. Cool. All right, we have Battle Royal coming up. <laughs> oh, Battle Royal. Uh, we're going to put... Don't worry, Zorts. Allure is not in there this time. Sarah the Necromancer. Just setting up betting right now. Alex Samuels. Zinda. The Baker will get, get a chance at possibly getting a rematch. After losing her title last week to Trish Stratus, of all people. Alexa Bliss and Paige. Wow. Wow. Bow, bow, bow. All right, here we go. Betting should be open multi-betting is enabled all right let's look at match records i mean nothing's going to be as bad as allure but still look at those <laughs> look at those records man i feel like i feel like i'm just pushing zorts away i'm like zorts get the hell out of here here is the baker <laughs> making his way to the ring her way to the ring I, the champions, Baker. I can affirm that Carrie is not a he. Carrie is a she. Carrie, uh, sorry, the Baker. God, love it. The Baker is uh, two and one in battle royals. Two and one. She is one half of the tag team champions, and she will very likely be defending her belts against the vicious circle <laughs> Zorts is like ah <laughs> let me actually see if I can I'm gonna can't go like that. trying to I'm trying to see if I can put the points in right now to tell you if she's gonna if they're gonna get the rematch for sure 
Vicious Circle. They won their match. The squad. Uh, so let's say if the hit squad wins. Who is it? Birds. Okay. Huh. Vicious Circle. Let me type that in again. Vicious Circle. Oh, now it updated. Okay. Hang on. Actually, with how it's working out, because of the vicious circles losses that they've had, when you compare that with the wins that the other teams have had, the vicious circle are going to be lucky to get in uh, let's say, let's say if, okay, if the hit squad wins, the hit squad will be the number one team. It's because the Vicious Circle have lost three matches beforehand. Oh, I'm doing the math. Uh, if Birds of Prey, yeah, Birds of Prey, even if Birds of Prey win, they don't, they have not had enough matches to um, to uh, bump them up. So really, and from Atlanta, Georgia, Redhead. Yeah, but it's all prorated as if they've wrestled five matches. So their wins, even though they've wrestled only two, is actually as if they've wrestled five. They've they've still got more points in those five matches that than the vicious circle have. I mean, I'm gonna redo the math, but that's what it's looking like to me. Where's Hit Squad? Hit Squad has wrestled three matches. Well, okay, two matches. If they win tonight, and from Edinburgh, 300 points Alex over five Daniel. matches. It's 60 points. There's Alex Samuels. A shout out to Kari Mag. Oh no, I'm just terrible. I'm going to look at that in a second. So. There we go. Vicious Circle. In the last... Yeah. So the last five matches. You lost, lost, lost. So that's only 30 points. So you've lost matches. So even though you lose matches, you still get 10 points. So you, because it's better than not wrestling. So you had 30 points there. You've won two matches. That's 200. So you have 320 points. And from Columbus. No, sorry. You have 230 points over five matches. Is 46. Which uh, compared to the 300 points divided by five is 60. Yep, math is good. Math is good. So, Birds of Prey. So, the reason why the Birds of Prey are not going to be up in there is because the Birds of Prey have lost matches. They've lost, there's one, they've lost two matches. So that really hurts too. 
So really, this is all on the hit squad. Ooh, that was quick. All right. Uh, owned by Boz Loa. Hey, taxes. Tax stuff. So, Zorts, you have to hope that the hit squad loses. If the hit squad loses, let me just make sure. Uh, vicious circle you won and then let's say if if the hit squad loses yep if the if the hit squad loses they will be at 42 points vicious circle will be at 46 and so vicious circle will still be the number one team Birds of Prey win. Ooh. Oh, hold on here. If the Birds of Prey win, Birds of Prey and the Vicious Circle will be tied at 46 points each. Ooh. You know what that'll mean? We're going to make that a triple threat match, my friend. Oh boy. <laughs> ah, you misspelled Bret Hart. <laughs> Here is Paige. Poor Zords. I'm not trying to screw you. I'm just, I'm trying to be an impartial. That's the whole point of having the math. So I can be impartial. And no one can say I'm rigging it. I mean, you technically could rig it with math, but, you know, I don't. So we've got the Baker looking to win this and get a rematch for her title. Scarlet is on the outside. Alexa Bliss right into the corner. <laughs> so it's angry. So it's angry. Zerts is going to shiv me. Wow. Big uh, forearm to Scarlet. A competitor oh man, the Baker is gone first. There will not be a rematch. Trish Stratus will be taking on somebody new. And LB did help me with my math because before it was even worse. Like it was worse. Like if you like for a new person to come in, they were like ranked really high. It was terrible. Wow, the Baker has been eliminated early on. That is shocking. Shocking. I am shocked. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Wonder Woman into the corner. Sarah the Necromancer gets a Wonder Woman boot right to the midsection. Oh man, I didn't do a shout out for Wolfpack. Didn't I? No, I didn't. Wolfpack. Wolfpack owns Zinda. The late the lady that looks like Cher. And Zinda has got Alexa Bliss Alexa up Bliss and tosses out the trash. Alexa Bliss is gone. And there eliminated. goes Paige. Paige is gone too. We're down to five. 
Oh my. Uh, Sarah the Necromancer was setting up Wonder Woman and Hurricane Rana. There goes Wonder Woman. We are down to four. Alex Samuels, Sarah the Necromancer, Scarlet, and Zinda. Wow. Alex Samuels just picked Sarah the the the, ne the neck the necromancer up and body slammed her to the floor and eliminate Scarlet as well. Alex Samuels has been on fire, and now she's going one on one with the former Twitch champion. Holy moly! Alex Samuels has got Zenda up on the ropes. Tosses her back in. She's going to perform some savage beatdowns on Zenda before she tosses her out, maybe. She's got Zenda by the throat. Slams her down. Oh my God! She, Alex Samuels to the top rope. Holy crud! Cork, corkscrew, moonsault. Sure, no corkscrew splash. Zinda surprises Alex Samuels with the fireman's carry. Now a shot to the midsection doubles her over. Zinda is dangerous. She is a former champion. She dethroned the Baker on her very first night hence the term can you pull off a zinda and now we've now she's just beating alex samuels right in the face trying to rearrange that face as best as possible pinfall submissions dqs do not count here oh right off right out of the blue with an arm bar Alex Samuels picks up Zinda, gets her up on the shoulder, hangs her up off the top rope. I thought she was going to go and toss her out right there, but apparently not. Alex Samuels with a neck breaker. Everyone's booing. And a Hurricane Rana. Down goes Zinda. And again, choke slams her down. It's almost like a choke trip. <laughs> Alex Samuels with another arm bar. Slaps Zinda right upside the back of the head. Zinda catches the leg, picks her up, and boom! Oh my god, I think Alex Samuels might have lost her win there. Zinda has got Samuel. Oh no, Zinda couldn't grab hold of Alex Samuels, but she did. Oh, there! Out of the blue, Zinda clotheslines Alex Samuels out of the ring and laugh, starts laughing at her. Can you? We should have seen, I wish I had replays turned on, but I have them turned off because I was doing testing and I forgot to turn them back on. But right at the end, as soon as Alex Samuels got clotheslined out, Zinda, Zinda laughing at Alex Samuels on the ground. Zinda is your winner. No one bet on Zinda. It will be Zinda versus Trish Stratus for the championship, for the Twitch championship. Okay. We have got our next match. Open the betting now. We have got Allure. Allure is in singles action against the uh, uh, Baroness. Allure is one and five. Uh, 
Baroness is 0-1 in singles matches. Typically, she doesn't wrestle singles. She uh, does more tag team action. Allure is looking to improve her record. Allure is one in five in singles matches. From England, smooth. Oh, and one in four way matches. Oh, and eight in battle royals. She's won one match here so far. And that was a singles match. And LB is not betting on Allure. But Chris is. Chris has some faith that Allure could pick up her second win. Man, the matches have been going quick. And again, surprising and shocking. And just a reminder, there are tickets. We are doing tickets because uh, we are going to be setting up our boss matches. Our boss match. Our boss match will be uh, the final one before WrestleMania. Maddie Hunter did beat Venom. She's the only female to beat Venom uh, this this set of matches. So, so far it will be Maddie Hunter and whoever the number one, two, or three seeded wrestlers are. The winner of that match will be given a lot of power ranking points. To hopefully boost them into a number one spot for the next pay-per-view is the Baroness. Hello, Baroness. Hello, Baroness. Here we go. Allure and then uh, uh, Baroness lock up and Allure shows just how strong she is. Wow. Holy crud. It's like uh, Northern Light Suplex. I can't can't get the suplexes straight. But that was a face full of elbow, and oh man, working on her el on Allure's elbow again. She took an elbow to the face, and now her elbow is going to get dislocated. Cause that's how things go. Wow, kick right to the chest. So no love lost here, apparently. Goldberg's botched jack jackhammer was just a brain, brain buster. Mo. Goldberg. I can't, I can't, uh... I can't, uh, I don't know. I'm not really a big Goldberg fan. I, when, when I was younger, I was like, oh man, that guy's cool. But then I wasn't really watching a whole lot. And now that I look back at it, I'm like, no, he's, eh. Has anyone heard if Roman Reigns is still going to wrestle um, for uh, the title? Because uh, because um, it's Braun Strowman. Because Roman Reigns, I heard, uh, wasn't going to go. Here is Allure. Kick to the midsection. And, oh my god, face first because of the cancer. He's self-isolating. Oh, because of the coronavirus. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I did not know that. 
I did not know he had leukemia. Well, damn. See, I, 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 uh, I only got back into it just recently. Wow, big clothesline takes her down. It looks like Destro has thrown a chair in. So he had it when he was a kid, came back last year. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's terrible. Oh my god, the black, the, 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 the black, the black dots. Killing me. Wow, throws her up. Rock bottom right down. Oh my god, a lure now is getting distracted again by Destro. His silver mask has been blinding people. The lights seem to be shining right off of it. And Baroness going in for the cover only got a one count. Oh my god, can you imagine that? Can you imagine a lure? So the thing with Roman Reigns, I do like him, but there we go. A lure gets her win. I do like him, but I understand. Like I do winner. understand why he can't, why he's not completely over, right? Like I, I kind of get it. Like he's, like he's awesome, but he's not awesome enough. Even though they keep pushing and pushing him and pushing him, I love him. Man. I personally like him, but I get why. I, I kind, I kind of get that. You know, I kind of know why he's not quite over the top, as there are some other wrestlers. All right, so we got a lure with the pinfall. All right, we are going to go with a tag team match. This match is very important. Hit Squad versus the Birds of Prey. Betting is open. If the Hit Squad wins, they will be the number one team and will go up against Sugar and Spice at WrestleMania next week. If Birds of Prey win, it will be the birds of prey and the vicious circle both tied for the number one spot and we will do a triple threat match uh, has there been a goldberg match that was longer than 10 minutes as in dressing <laughs> i'm not hinting on bill but whoever's playing these two ah! Uh, needs to stop giving him infinite finishers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I was never a big Goldberg fan. I, like, like, like when I saw him, I was like, oh my god, that guy's ripped. But he wasn't in World Wrestling Fe Fe Federation. That's the, I'm talking about, like, back in the day. Way back in the day. So, but now when I look back, I'm like, yeah... He's just a big oaf, man. Like, you know, yeah, he, he, he's ripped. He looks great, you know? But, eh. I don't know why they brought him back. On the way to the ring. So we will do a shout out for Froggy, owned by Froggy. He was not playing Half-Life Alex. he just set his game to that. <laughs> he might, he might have been playing it, but he's, he wasn't streaming it as far as I know. I was, don't lie, uh-huh, yeah right. <laughs> Oh boy. And their opponent. All right. We have four Gordon streams. And the lunatic, Diana Trey. Here we go. Lou. Lou, Lou Games was last playing Overwatch. And they are an awesome Overwatch player. Like, she's really good. Really good. 
like I watch her play and I'm like I don't know, I don't know how she does it because I can't move my hand that fast to like kill people. And Velvet Dove. Two former world champions side by side going to going toe to toe against the hit squad. Relative newcomers. Seems like this this match is going to upset some folks. And by some folks, I mean one person <laughs> could be a green monster. Wow, spinning backhand takes Lou down. I think she might have had a concussion after that shot right to the head. Alice right here. Picks up Lou in a headlock. And Bulldog, down goes Lou. I do have finishers disabled because 2K19 and my tag team finishers. You know? Lou into the ropes. And oh my goodness, Alice Wright lifted up Lou and slugged her on her way back down. Lou. We've got a stretcher here, or a crab, or whatever it is. <laughs> Could be the catfish maneuver. And just another shot right to the face. You know what? The ref needs to call this nonsense. And another one. Lou goes down. And another one to the side of the face. I thought the refs are supposed to be calling these closed-handed punches. No closed fists. Lou able to get back up, surprising Alice Wright with an armbar takedown. We'll tag in Velvet Dove wisely. Velvet Dove blocks Alice Wright now. Gets thrown into the turnbuckle. Wow! Drop kick right to the small of the back. Alice Wright could be in a little bit of trouble here. Into the turnbuckle. Oh, God. Dio Mio. Okay. Oh, God. Off the ropes. Takes her down. Elbow to the back of the... To the small of the back. To the back of the back, which would be the front. Which would be wrong. Madison Windraker misses with a drop kick. She wasn't even close. Could be that that blue dye may have seeped into her brain a little bit. It's possible. Lou is just taking it to Windraker. Picks her up. Exploder suplex. She could be in trouble going in for the cover. If this is it, we're going to have a triple threat. Only a two count. Windraker kicks out. Uh, I think that was a headbutt to the back of the head, but it seems like Lou was on the uh, bad end of that Russian leg sweep. Wow, that was a nice leap up by Madison. What is she doing? Oh, no. Karate chop right to the throat. And she is pumped up. <laughs> Ready to go. What the hell? Picks her up. Upside down. Holy Jesus. I don't know what the hell that is, but uh, that's rip right there. That could be it. Call a paramedic. One. Two. Call this the dragon drop. All right. Because, good lord. Whipped into the turnbuckle. Madison Windraker tags in Alice Wright. Nope. Not Al Oh, yeah. Yeah, right into Alice Wright. Right into an elbow. And elbow. She leaps over the rope. Delivers an elbow to, to Lou. Lou is in big trouble. She's getting the punch ready. And bam. Cannon unleashed. 
Velvet Dove coming in to break up that count because Lou seems to be completely out of it. Isn't that move illegal in the WWE? I swear I read a story someone's next stepping in Japan because of that thing. Yeah, that move is like... I mean, it's just like doing a uh, pile dri dr driver, right? Man, now you, you can't do that. Man. Another punch right to the face. Looked like Lou slapped it aside. Lou with a forearm. Throws her down. Off the rope. Stomp right to the midsection. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I was... So I was recently watching all the... Uh, so I'm... Well, in the process of... I'm still watching the in, 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 intercontinental matches. Every, every match where the uh, title has changed hands. And uh, about a week ago, I ran into the one where it was Owen Hart versus Austin. And... Yeah, as soon as I saw him deliver the pilot driver, you could clearly see how far uh, Austin's head was past his leg, and it was just all boom. And you could see even the fin like the finishing thing where he rolled up Hart, like Hart just oh I fell back and you know like they had to s sell it and still make it happen, but. That was, that was bad. It was bad, bad. Here we go with another one of Alice Wright's. Ugh, trying to replicate the Baker's pretzel. Rolls her over into a cover. Wow. Drop kick right to the face. Although I think it looked like she might have hit her own partner. Velvet Dove now throws Windraker into the corner. And off... Wow, springboard bulldog. And while that happens, Alice Wright tries to sneak in a cover. But, wow, Alice Wright almost nailed Jeffy. Alice Wright still got eyes for Velvet Dove. And now she'll turn back to Lou. Alice Wright, I don't know how close she was to hitting the referee. It's an arm breaker by Lou. Lou seems to... Wow, wow. Nice uppercut. Sending Alice right onto the outside. Good gravy. Alice right into the turnbuckle. Velvet Dove now. This match seems to be going the limit. Moonsault... Off springboard moonsault off those corner ropes, waiting. There we go into the Black Widow or the Widow's Embrace or whatever the hell it is, looking for the submission. This is what won her the title. The Birds have of Prey have defeated the Hit Squad by submission. So, it is going to be a triple threat match for the women's tag team title. Holy heck. Let me add that to my... There it is. And number two. Good lord. Hey, 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 hey. Congratulations to Velvet Dove and Lou. We're into our last match of the segment. Gonna have uh, Moon Daisy. Moon Daisy will go up against Maddie Hunter. Both are ranked. Uh, Maddie Hunter is ranked number two. Sorry, number three. Dazzling Moon Daisy is ranked number four. This match. Could make the could make a big uh, difference to, uh, between 
whether or not Moon could get into the uh, match at WrestleMania, into the contenders uh, match. Of the, you do more for women tag team wrestling than WWE does? Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, but I, I, I like doing the men and the women, right? So, well, that's a quote. I mean, I feel like, uh, to be honest, I feel like women's wrestling is better than the men's, right? Right now, I, I just... So, um, I just, uh, I... Making her way to the ring from the edge of reality, Boon Day Z. And women's matches like now are better way better like a thousand times better than what they were before women's wrestling you say zorts here has a women's only league he's like screw the men women only Maddie Hunter. Hey, did they actually say the women's tag team champions? I do like Alexa Bliss. I am a Alexa Bliss fan. I also like Paige. I like Sasha Banks. I love Sasha Banks. I also like Nikki Cross. I love her. She is insane. Like... I wish she was in this game because I would put her in here in a second. She is... She is like... Man. Nikki Cross. She is just insane. Love her. Love her, love her, love her. <laughs> wow, slugged. You made, you made me a Nikki Cross? <laughs> Is that is that is that what is that what your wrestlers base on? Wow, they're just slugging it back and forth. Nice. Holy crud. Off the top rope like another springboard. Oh my god. Back he, back like mule kick right to the face. Into the turnbuckle. Hey, LB, what was that move you wanted me to call it? Dragon, the dragon. God damn it, the dragon something. And she pull, puts her down into a headlock. It looks like Maddie Hunter is able to get out of it. It wasn't quite a full headlock. It looked like a uh, some kind of a submission. But Maddie Hunter is now in control. Dragon, dragon drop. Right, dragon drop, dragon drop. I'll have to write it down a couple times. Help me to remember it. Drag and drop. Matty Hunter now. Picks. Oh man. Big spine buster on Dazzling Moon Daisy. A kick right to the chest. Uh, I'm also on the wrestling matches uh, where it's uh, Jeff Jeff uh, Jarrett and uh, Deborah and the puppies. Holy crap! That's it. That was it. Good lord! Maddie Hunter dismantles Moon Daisy. So Moon Daisy's at 69. Maddie Hunter's at 73.33. So that will mean Moon Daisy will move down. And she may not. So Maddie Hunter already has a spot in that match because she beat Venom once to get that spot. But Maddie Hunter is ranked high. So 
looking at the numbers. We still have the... Well, the Baker is number one, but I think that's going to go down because of her loss at the Battle Royal. That's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Okay, we are going to exit. And I want to... I'm going to mute the game for a second so you don't hear all my crud. We're going to go check out uh, shows and stuff because... All right, enter to continue. We're not going to the next show. We're going to go like this. We're going to get out of that. Creations. Show. Edit. Aha! You see? Aha ha ha ha. Custom arena data in this, uh, it will be replaced automatically. Okay. Uh, edit the show. The arena. There it is. There it is. Okay. That's why. So basically what it was is that I created a second one. And I was going to mess around and not have like, and have like a smaller arena or have like no crowd in there because COVID. Zorce doesn't think it's funny. I, I, I wasn't doing it for funniness. I was doing it to be like, well, this is what's going on. You know, it was moderately funny. But then when I deleted the second one because I couldn't get it to work, uh, I guess it messed up the other show. So, oh no! I so I can't take out the crowd. There's that's not an option, unfortunately. Uh, so we have five matches left. I'm going to load. Yes. Okay. We are on that Monday. Play horrible idea. Very un-Canadian. Sorry. Wow. Okay, we've got five matches left. We are... We've got five matches left, and we've only been streaming for an hour. The, like, those first few matches flew by. Flew by. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. We have five matches. Hopefully... So you work for the NHL, and stupid humor like that is one of the few things keeping me go going uh national health service dude are you a nurse because uh i mean like if you're working in in like holy crap dude like uh please be safe god so you're not a nurse but you still work in there like are you being exposed to all this stuff because jesus christ man okay man okay so this is gonna be got women a so we're keeping this friday one as a backup just in case so i am afraid even though we've set this to five what's gonna happen is when we go make the show, it's going to insert a promo and we won't be able to delete the promo. We'll only get like four matches. So then we'll have to use this as a backup. This, this is my extra matches for WrestleMania. Doesn't matter what party of the part of the NHS you're working, your potential exposed to God. Just be safe, man. Hey, thank you for the follow. I think you broke Emma. She can't. I think your name is too long. James Peters and Gaming. Twenty two. Thank you for the follow. You broke Emma because she would normally say your name. Uh, just a reminder: we're doing tickets, so first tickets free. Every ticket after that is five hundred pebbles. If you win, you get to pick who will face Venom. Doesn't have to be your wrestler, but it's got to be somebody on the female singles roster. Please, no promos. Please, no promos. Yes, no promos. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got Lou versus Zorana. Our first match. 
See, look, and it, look, it says May Young Classic. Hold on. I don't think it's going to let us uh, change it because we've already lo cuz we've already got the show going. Um Yeah. I don't I don't think this is going to work. But hopefully it will. I'm actually going to go to all of them and just make sure, yeah. that ruffle mal yeah okay and uh one more yes this is how we fix things during the show. Okay. And we'll do this one too, just in case if we need it. So just because I'll probably not remember and, uh, and I'll be like, oh, damn it. Now, hopefully, okay, I don't need to worry about that one. Oh, actually I do. I do, I do. And we want WrestleMania commentary for that one. Everything else is good. Good, okay. Now, let's see. Actions, edit. I think we're good, because the logo's there. Okay, Lou versus Zarena. It's on momentum fast. Uh, Lou, I did put uh, managers back in versus Zorana. Uh, where is it? Velvet Dove versus Diva. Entrance is on. I don't know why it defaults to everything off. Velvet Dove does not have a manager versus Diva. Okay. And then we will have a triple... Or three, not a triple, a three-person tag team match. So we need six man. Uh, tag team, right? Yes. Okay, we've got sugar and spice. That's going to be the baker. And Lady Rhett, no, sorry, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel will be going up against Break You, which is She Hulk. And Wonder Woman. And Lady Red, the women's world champion. Hopefully this won't break the game. Okay. And then we have Venom. This is our boss fight. Venom. Or Lady Venom.
All right. Uh, it's time for tickets. Tickets, 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 tickets. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, as I always do when it's ticket time. I'm going to pull this in here. Pull this in here. Uh, we're going to go like that. We're going to open that out so you can see who is entered. If you want a ticket, first ticket is free. Every ticket after that is 500 pebbles. If you win, I need you to say something in the chat when I draw your name. Um, and after that, I need you to pick somebody on the women's singles roster. You can click on the link that just happened. And uh, from there, you can go to wrestling and then women's, ros women's roster. You can see everyone that's in there. I'm going to mute my mic. Uh, I'll be back in about uh, five minutes. Okay, last call for tickets. Tickets here. Hey, Tiber. Tickets here. Tickets. 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 First ticket is free. Every ticket after that is 500 pebbles. I will count. I uh, will do the draw at uh, tw at one hour and 22 minutes. So in one minute from now. We will do the draw. 
Ooh, I got an email. Uh, yay. Okay. Wow, why are my drop frames at 240? What's up with that? When did that happen? All right, we're going to do the ticket draw in 15 seconds. Right here, close giveaway. Good luck, error buddy. And bam. All right, we are going to draw a winner. That is Maddie B251. Maddie B. Maddie, tell me who you want to face Venom. Who do you want? To face Venom. Could be anybody on the women's singles roster except for, I'm sorry, except for Lady Red and except for Maddie Hunter. She's already in that match. And if I don't hear, oh, there we go. Sarah, the necromancer of court. I, okay, that's what I figure, but I still need to hear it from you. Okay, Sarah the Necromancer, and the Twitch Championship match will be, oh, look at this match, eh? Will be Trish Stratus. The hell? Still can't, I can't get over that. Trish Stratus. All right. Trish Stratus against Zinda. Got managers back in. Select the championship. Okay. Turn the game sounds back on. We will accept. We will just making sure. Lou, Zoran, Lou versus Zorana, two former women's champ, women's champions. Uh, Velvet Dove and Diva in six person tag. Yes, yes. Okay. Start that show. Okay. Lou versus Zorana. Wow, wow. Betting is open. Maxim bet 500, five minutes. Option one is Lou. Option two, Zorana. Lou was the champion on December 23rd. Lost it to Zorana. Wait a second. No, on December the 30th, Lou lost her belt to Zorana. Then at the end of January at the Royal Rumble, Zorana lost to Velvet Dove. And then at the Elimination Chamber, Lady Red came out with the belt. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Gordon Bedtime. Gordon. You have a good night, my friend. Stay safe. Diana Stay safe, Ray. man. Here comes Lou. Lou is ranked sixth. Presently, the loss by Dazzling Moon Daisy 
Um, it's possible if the loss by the Baker and if Trish Stratus loses, Lou could potentially get into that con contend Fenders match with a win here. It's possible. Velvet Dove is ranked 8. She's got 56 points. Lou has 58 points. So Velvet Dove is in a similar position where she could and get into her that opponent, match. Accompanied by the villain. And from London, England, Pong. That is Zoranas. Accompanied to the ring by her brother Zartan. Zarana hasn't been doing well since she lost the belt. She is ranked 28th. Doesn't see a whole lot of singles action. Uh, Zarana is uh, one and one. Lou is five and two. In singles matches. All right, here we go. Back in our regular arena. Crucifix right down into a pin cover. Doesn't get it. Holy crap. I think that surprised Zorana. Like right off of the bat. Lou took it to her. Picks her up and down into the disarmor. I think she's too close to the ropes. That's going to be a rope break. She is way too close to those ropes. Lou just came out. And now Lou is going to want to get a piece of Zartan too. She will take you out. Didn't do much good there. Lou picks up Serana. Neckbreaker. Or actually a snapmare. This one for that cover, too. Holy crud! What the heck? I mean, if you didn't bet early, you missed out. I, I, that's another match that has gone by super quick. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. <laughs> Lou completely crushed Zorana. I, I, I don't even know what the, I, what the heck? All right, we got Velvet Dove versus Diva. Is up next. Oh my god. We're at an hour and a half. Typically our matches we get 12 12 to 14 matches. Yes, we this week we only have 12, but it usually takes about 3 hours or two and a half hours. We're at an hour and a half. We're at 1 hour 33 minutes. 10 minutes of that is countdown time to get people, give people time to go do what they need to do and settle in. So we've only had an hour and 23 of actual wrestling time. And some of that was Making me setting up these the next ring. matches. From parts unknown, Man. Violet Dove. Velvet Dove, another former world champion. I mean, we saw she, we just saw her partner here demolish Zarena. Uh, we also saw them take out the Hit Squad to earn themselves a shot in a triple threat match for the world for the women's tag team champions championship. Words are hard. Words are hard. Now, Diva has been known to win some matches. Diva is 2 and 1. Velvet Dove in singles matches is 6 and, and 1. From Busan, South Korea, Hannah. I'm going to point out that Velvet Dove when she lost her belt, it wasn't in a singles one-on-one -on -one match. It was in the elimination chamber match. Good gravy. There 
is the oh cutscene. <laughs> she just jumped. She's pointing right at me. Hello. <laughs> okay. Velvet Dove versus Diva. Let's get her on. Velvet Dove and the Diva lock up. Velvet Dove throws Diva down to the mat. Now with a knife edge chop. And reverse DDT. Velvet Dove is taking it to the D D Diva here. Diva is ranked 30th out of all 32 of the singles wrestlers. What? What are you doing, LB? Why are you doing auto modding? What are you doing, man? I have no idea what you're doing. Wow, standing drop kick by Velvet Dove takes Diva down. Misses with a shot to the back. Diva now re replying with punches and kicks of her own. Oh, there's new mod view? Really? I know that. Into the turnbuckle. Diva now. No, forearm right into the back. And another one. Picks her up. Puts her up and hangs her down into the tree of row. Of row? Of woe. She gets up onto the top rope. What the heck is she doing? Stops her down. Oh, my God. I have never seen that before. Yikes. Rest in peace. Peace her rib cage. Diva top rope delivers the flying elbow smash. A la macho man goes in for the cover. That's what I'm talking about. Diva has won some matches. Only gets a two count there. I thought this could have been over. Holy crud. Diva and a drop kick to the back of the head. Velvet Dove is taking a beating here. Pulls the arm and wrenches the arm out, trying to pull it out of its socket. Diva ducks underneath a punch, and here we go. Uh, airplane spin, Hurricane Rana. The physics defying crap. Diva now, waiting for Velvet Dove to get to her feet. And down she goes. That could be it. Game over. One, two. No, Velvet Dove just gets the arm up. I thought that was over. Let's just sit her up. Working on working her down with a headlock. Not quite sure. She's she's delivered some pretty harsh blows and punishing blows, but uh, Velvet Dove has been able to get out of them or kick out of two pinfall attempts. Diva will go in for the cover. Two, three, what? Out of a headlock, Diva is your winner. Tiber is the only one that bet on Diva. That is a bizarre outcome. I wonder if Velvet Dove is hurt. I wonder if Velvet Dove is hurt. Is she injured? Or something? Doesn't seem like it. I don't see anything on here. Bizarre. Bizarre. 
Okay, this is going to be uh, a bigger match. So we're going to make the maximum bet 1,000. Team one will be Sugar and Spice and Marvel. Team two will be Break You Red. Betting is 1,000. One fall to a finish, not a Survivor Series or anything like that. The tag team champions go up against the number six team, Break You. They have not done well. Um, Lady Red has joined the number six team. I've heard she's boasted that she herself can carry this team over top of the number one contender, Captain Marvel, and the tag team champions. Now... I've had a chance to meet her, and Lady Red is quite the person. She, I, I mean, if anybody could win this match, it could, it, like, just by, just by themselves, it would be her. I wonder what's going to happen. I've never, we've never done a three-on-three -three tag team match. There we go. This is not for the titles. The titles will be on the line next week. Next Monday at WrestleMania. There they are. There's the tag team champions. Introducing first, the women's tag team champions, Baker and Madison Hunter. JoJo got it right. Sugar and Spice will defend their belts against the against the birds of prey and the vicious circle now i think i'm going to do i'm not sure if that triple threat match is going to be singly single like one fall to a finish or el elimination i might do one fall to a finish I think I'm, I think I'm thinking that triple threat matches we're gonna go one fall to finish and four way matches we do el partner, elimination style. From New York, the Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel won uh, the Royal Rumble, even though Velvet Dove came in at number thirty. Captain Marvel came in at number twenty six, I want to say, and ended up being the winner and winning that shot against whoever the women's world champion was at the time it was velvet dove but later that night lady red won the belt so we ended up with captain marvel versus lady red Here we go, break you. She Hulk and, and Wonder Woman. First, She Hulk and Wonderful Linda Carter. I'm surprised they don't have a sound bite for just woman like really like, come on just like the same way they don't have a soundbite for man or Kane really they don't they, like they don't have the soundbite for Kane come on come on now even though if you pick him for a match he does like they do announce his name so it's in the game files they just don't have it as a name that you can select for your entrance name. I don't know if it's an oversight or uh, if that was on purpose. There is Break You. They're really hyped up. I don't know why, because they haven't really won a whole lot of matches. So this match is going to more count towards the records for Sugar and Spice and Break You. Actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna put. Uh... And their partner. No, we can figure out some match, some Russia, match records for this. 
can't can't be an, an oversight. No way. I mean, you <laughs> you'd figure LB though that enough people would be like, hey, what the hell? That with the fixes that they put in. I mean, they put four four, four patches in, and they didn't get that. Come on, come on. Lady Red, the women's world champion has boasted that she will be able to take break you and put them over the tag team champions. We've got the Baker and She-Hulk squaring off first. Look at the size difference. She-Hulk with an arm bar forces the Baker down, continuing to work on it. That was savage. The savage She-Hulk. <laughs> she gets her up into a full Nelson slam. Holy crud. She-Hulk is doing child abuse again? I mean, it does look like it. Baker is able to pick her up into a... Almost like a gut wrench suplex. Baker trying to move her around. Trying to take her out of the break you corner uh, drags her back to her own corner tags in Madison Hunter and she'll just start Maddie Hunter just choking the life out of She-Hulk I don't know why Jeffy I don't see Jeffy really doing much about it he's just looking on perhaps Jeffy is more intrigued versus uh, enforcing the rules neck breaker and Madison Hunter she-Hulk was trying to get to the corner but could not get there in time before Maddie Hunter grabbed her leg. And now, with an Indian Deathlock, at least that's what I think it is, putting more pressure and strain on the knee. Maddie Hunter picks up She-Hulk, side slam. And again, the outstretched arms, She-Hulk tags in Lady Red. Wow, Lady Red explodes with a big boot. Miss gets a clothesline and another big boot. Maddie Hunter is feeling the wrath of Russia right now. You hear the fans are just booing away as Lady Red is just stomping the tar out of May, Madison Hunter. So pick her up and a spine buster. It's all Lady Red. Kick to the midsection. Here we go. Lady Red picks up Maddie Hunter. Power bomb. Good night. She'll go in for the cover. One, two, Captain Marvel breaks it up. She-Hulk takes out Captain Marvel, wailing away on the number one contender. We finally see a little bit of action between Captain Marvel and Lady Red. From what we've seen so far of Captain Marvel, she hasn't done very well. Oh, there's a surprising toe drag takedown. And Maddie Hunter... Lady Red isn't moving very much, which is very odd. And now, re reverse German suplex. Lady Red has got Maddie Hunter up. And a power slam. That's going to knock the wind right out of you. Lady Red again. Taken down by Maddie Hunter. Slipped, slipped out the back. <laughs> She's got the same taunting. The same moves. Picks up Lady Red. Oh my god. She's got the world champion into a power bomb. Holy heck. Madison Hunter turned the tables on the world champion. One, two. Lady Red gets the arm up. That was surprising. Maddie Hunter will tag in Captain Marvel. Here we go. This could be a this is a preview of what could happen at WrestleMania on Monday. Captain Marvel 
Irish whip into the corner. Spear right to the back of the champion. This is a good time for Captain Marvel to do some uh, 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 damage and potentially weaken the champion. It's a big stunner right there. Or an RKO. She'll drag her over into the corner a little bit more. She'll go in for that cover. Got one. Only a one count there. Baker takes down She-Hulk. I don't know what the hell Baker just did there, but it seemed to work. Captain Marvel slugs Lady Red down to the mat. This could be it. One, two, Madison... <laughs> Madison Hunter. Wonder Woman took out Jeffy, broke up the pin count. Maddie Hunter throws out Wonder Woman. Everybody else is out. Lady Red is down. Jeffy ain't up. Somebody got to wake him up. The world champion's in trouble. He should, should have pinned him right there. Almost had a, like, sort of like a choke slam there, but knee right to the back. Captain Marvel really taking it to Lady Red here. Wow. Spinning roundhouse kick right to the face. Moonsault springboard off the top ropes. Captain Marvel is showing that, you know what? Maybe this is going to be a one-sided match. Slugs, Lady Red. And tilt a world reverse DDT. That could be it. The champion is not moving. Jeffy in position for the count. One two three oh my god what an upset <laughs> captain marvel pins lady Here red winners, Baker, to win it Hunter, for the tag team champions wow shocking This whole night, this whole night, Captain Marvel pin Lady Red. Oh, my God. We'll have to catch up with Lady Red to find out what she has to say about this because she was talking a whole lot of smack about how she could deal with anybody and everything. All right. We are going to do our boss match. We have got Venom. Versus Sarah, the Necromancer. Maximum bet will be 1,000. Venom is number one. Sarah, the, the Necromancer, is number two. If Sarah, the Necromancer, can win this, she will take the number three position at the women's contenders match at WrestleMania. So far, Maddie Hunter is the only one in there that's guaranteed to be in there. Making her way to the ring from New York. Venom seldom defeated oh I forgot to put odds on this too uh, maybe we'll do it for next week. maybe for the matches with with uh, boss matches after WrestleMania the uh um, we'll put higher odds on the uh, on the Endem's opponent to win. Uh, so far, I'm actually not really sure what I'm going to be doing after WrestleMania. There are um, there's four weeks of regular shows. And then a pay-per-view event on May 11th. 
And my initial idea is a money in the bank briefcase. I'm not sure though. Or I could bring in the Canadian Championship for the men and the million dollar belt for the women. Is Sarah the Necromancer? And her opponent from Salem, Massachusetts, Sarah the Necromancer. Last playing, no game. Very popular. Very popular. Sarah the Net. Sarah the Necromancer was two and zero in singles matches. Venom. Is five and three. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for uh, the next pay per view. Really not sure. Really, really, really not sure. Because if I if I bring in different belts, it's oh right off the bat, Venom comes out hard. Choking the life out of Sarah the Necromancer gives her a boot to the midsection and one to the back of the head. Venom is vicious. So usually what I like to do is I like to have... Well, that's a nice running bulldog. Uh, I like to have the boss matches mean something. And if I can't figure something out, out, out for it, then I won't do it. But I, but I like to have a match where you guys can pick something. Like pick and have somebody fight, right? Um... Not sure. Like, I'll have to think about what I'm going to do after Russell made. Yeah, I still haven't really given it a lot of thought. Well, I'm going to have some thought, but not tons. And we only have until May 31st to upload, download, and all that stuff. Because uh, 2K19 servers will be getting shut down. So the Necromancer has been doing reasonably well. Although Venom just gets right back up, picks her up, and down she goes. Venom. As soon as I say somebody is uh, uh, doing well. Oh, no. Symbiote. Sister Symbiote. There we go. That could be it for the Necromancer. Venom going in for that cover. One, two, three. And three, Venom is your winner again. It is difficult to beat them. It's with the double, the double music means something's gonna happen. Venom celebrating in the corner. Sarah the Necromancer, nope. I guess she wasn't going to do anything. She walks away in disgust. She is not happy. Okay. Here we are at our final match of the night. Whoa. We have Trish Stratus is the Twitch champion will go up against Zinda Trish won the title last week against the Baker Zinda won the battle royal tonight to earn a shot at the belt can Trish Stratus 
pull off another upset. Because really, I don't think anybody was thinking she would win. I know I wasn't. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall. It is for the Internet Championship. Here comes Zinda. Zinda, in her first debut night, won the match against Marge. No big deal. But won the Royal Rumble. And then also beat the 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 the, the, the Baker. All in her first night. To claim the belt. And here she comes again. Looking to be a two-time champion. Let's look at title rings. Uh, the Baker... has had two title rings. So the Baker lost her belt to Zen to Zenda and the next week she was able to uh, get it back. She was able to defend the title three times and lost it. Zenda has never defended the belt. She's got to win it back tonight. And, re and, re and regardless of who wins here, the title will be defended next week. We will be doing our usual Twitch ba Battle Royal and championship match it's one of the ways I can get all the lower ranked player owned wrestlers in the show is to put them into the battle royal because typically for pay per view I try to only get the top wrestlers from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, she is the internet champion, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. I never would have thought I'd see this, but she is the champion. She finally gives up the belt to, to, uh, to uh, Jeffy. There it is. 10 minute time limit. I have adjusted the match rules to be a 10 count. Last time it was a 15. All of our matches are 10 counts now. Here we go. Zinda right off the bat. Big military press slam on the champion. Holy heck. Zinda Irish whip Trish Stratus into the turnbuckle, picks her up, and backbreaker drops her down. The champion is in big trouble. We're not even a minute in. Kick in the ribs. Should pick her up. Gets her in, gets her into the position. And suplex slam. So drag her to the middle of the ring. She's going to go for the cover already. Oh, my God. One only gets a one count. I'm going to save. That could have been the fastest belt change for us yet. Trishratus with a neck breaker. Knee to the back. Now the champion seems to be taking charge. Although I probably just jinxed it. 
Another kick to the back. Champion rolls her over. Goes in for the cover. That's really not going to do anything here. Only a one count. Come on. Trish Stratus is dreaming. Oh, shot right to the midsecker. I think that really winded Trish off the ropes. And big clothesline takes her down. Trish Stratus slides out to the outside. Gets a breather. Runs right back in. Takes advantage of the confusion. Throws Zinda into the turnbuckle. Falls up with a knee and down goes the big share. Big share. Clubbing blow to the back. Zinda back up to her feet. Misses with a haymaker. And Trish Stratus replies with an elbow of her own. Turns her around. Picks her up and oh, into the steel post. Oh my God. Rest in peace, her shoulder. Stop right to the right to the chest. I don't think Zinda can breathe. Drags her into the middle of the ring. What have we got? Gonna bring her to the ropes. Turns her around. Shot to the back. Another shot to the back. Let's her fall. The champion here. Looking like she's in complete control. Irish whip into the turnbuckle again. Tristratus now. Puts her up on the top rope. We're going to see the stratosphere. Down goes Zinda. That could be it. One. Two. Oh, my. And Zinda kicks out. Wolfpack just looking on. Not doing much of anything over there. Trish Stratus looking like she might actually... Wow! Roundhouse kick takes down Zinda. Goes in for the cover. Jeffy is dealing with Wolfpack and doesn't... doesn't count the pin. Again, Irish whip into the corner. Trish Stratus, big elbow, drops Zinda down. Zinda right back to her feet. Knife edge chop was blocked. Zinda replying with punches of her own. Picks. Oh, no. Picks. She picks her up. Zinda. Big power slam. Oh, you can see she's winded. Look at her. Whoa, where is she going? Zinda is going to the top rope. Big splash. Oh, my God. Flying splash off the top rope. Trish Stratus is in big trouble. That has got to be it. Wolfpack thrown in the chair. I don't think that's needed at all. Zinda is your new champion. Holy crud. Here she is. Here is your winner and new internet champion. Zinda, your new champion, your new women's Twitch champion. I thought she might have lost because Trish Stratus was showing signs of a win, but Zinda turned it right around and completely crushed the new champ, like crushed her to become the new champ. That is going to be it. Congratulations, Wolfpack. We are going to go to exit the show. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. Wow. So that is going to be it for tonight. I am going to see who we can raid. Right meow. No one's doing wrestling. So let's raid. So Voodoo's not doing wrestling, but Voodoo is the guy that's really made made the stream possible, you know? Like he's the prime inspiration here. So we are gonna raid him. Raid Voodoo Ush. Um Zorts, thank you for the raid tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, James Peters Gaming, thank you for the follow. 
Uh, next, just a reminder, next week, uh, the next, week, WrestleMania will be on Monday night, 7 o'clock. Um, we will not have a regular women's show on Tuesday. Because we're going to have all the matches that we're going to have on WrestleMania on Monday. On Tuesday, we might still do a stream, but it'll be pretty short. We might just screw around with some wrestlers. Um, not sure yet. Anyways, that's going to be it. Peace out. Uh, I'll be back streaming tomorrow at 10 a.m. to level some characters. Yeah. All right. Bye.